Hello, today we are going to make pixel art here in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just using, if I press shift O, you're going to see that I'm using just letter size. I have here the rules if you press command R. So I'm using also, it's going to be pixels. And we are going to make things like this. If you are into video games, then it's just going to be very easy for you to realize. So, uh, first thing we need is going to be that from here, you're going to see that here is going to be the line segment tool, but if you click and hold, you're going to see the rectangular grid tool. You need this one. If you press one click, you're going to see that I already have the specifications that I'm going to use. So. Uh, it will depend the size that you need, but also you can resize after, so that will depend. Um, I will suggest you to use this measure, if, especially if you are using a small letter size artboard that I'm managing. So I'm going to use 500 pixels by 500 pixels, and then I'm going to use horizontal dividers 100 by 100. Then I'm going to put OK, and it's going to give me this uh, grid. I will just bring it a little bit more to the artboard in this way. So I like that I have more dividers because um, you can put more details to it. So if I want to colorize, uh, you need to have in mind that we cannot just click the object, in this case this grid, and just colorize. We need to use the live paint bucket. It's going to be where is the shape builder. You just click and hold in this part. It's going to be the letter K, the shortcut. You're going to see how we have uh, this cursor. So we have even uh, some colors in the cursor. Do you see on top a little bit? So if you click the arrows of your keyboard, left to right you can switch the colors or it's going to react based on the swatches colors that we have here so i'm going to use the color red and just simply just click and drag and you can start drawing i'm going to just do it rounded as you can see i'm doing it but if you want to colorize what is inside easily instead of doing it manually in this way you just have to close the gaps that we have here so i'm just going to close it you can make like a little bit more here so once it's closed you have to just put double click and it will immediately uh, colorize that in that way and then when you have your figure, just simply you can uh, use other colors. You need to have in mind that you have to select it in this way. If I select something more lighter, just to add more detail to it. So you can also do it. So I can add more light and I can choose something more darker as well just to give like example here can be more darker and also I can, I can put it in more darker so we can see a difference I can put in this part as well in the top so here we can put the root and the leaf so it depends how many um, dividers that you put on your grid the more and obviously, if you make it more bigger, the more uh, details that you can put on it. So if I put the root sample, I just follow in this part. have this detail and then the leaf will be a green I can have it the leaf from here close it I can use another green more lighter as well just to have more detail on it and that's how it's going to be 
as you can see. Yeah, you can relax and you can put the colors that you need, but um, if you decided to come up with uh, something more smaller, probably it can be that you have less details on it. So this way I can continue and continue making details in, with different colors. Just remember you need the live uh, paint bucket tool in order to colorize. And make this root from here more darker. Okay. Let's see how it looks. So, yeah, we have more detail. And then I can make as well some details that is going to be, for example, this way. Like that. So, that's there. And there you go. So I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and if you want to create assets for let's imagine a video game, well this tutorial is going to be uh, useful for you.